Tonight, we continue our investigation into childhood poverty, Cincinnati's crisis. Often, success starts small and grows, and that's what's happening in one Cincinnati neighborhood. Lives are changing one person at a time without any federal, state, or city money. Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us how. The old St. Michael's Church and the school next door are part of a $10 million renovation. Two nonprofits raised the money for the five building campus here in Lower Price Hill that has awakened the power of neighborhood. How will you say? It will it be James go to school or James goes to school? Goes. 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 Here, adults study English as a second language, work on their GEDs, or get help with college entrance exams. That's what 34 year old Mike James is doing. He's worked construction 15 years. I'm just dreaming about a better life for my family and myself and what the possibilities that are out there that I can obtain by going to school. What do you want to do? I'm going to be a civil engineer. And he wants to set a good example for his two children. They're all happy. They're proud. These are graduation photos of adults who went back to school including 40-year-old Christine Parks, a single mother of three. She graduated from high school the same year as her son. I can just remember the day that I got my results back. And I sat on the floor and I cried, and my babies cried with me. And um, they said, Mommy, we're so proud of you. Now she's in college studying nursing. Now I've been in college for two years. Um, and um, with with leading by example, both of my children um, are in college. A lot of people have that will and they have that dream and they have that desire, but there are so many seemingly barriers to them getting to the next level. Community Matters eliminates those barriers one at a time. Sometimes they're as basic as not having transportation to the store. Groceries are free here in the food pantry. Rhonda Jansen comes down from class to shop. If she needs daycare for her two-year-old son while studying, that's free here, too. I want to set a better example for him than I did my other two, because obviously, you know, I dropped out of school for my daughter. Here in the thrift store, items cost less than most thrift shops. For example, baby clothes are 50 cents a piece. But somebody really in need can get a free outfit to accommodate the weather, for example, or for a job interview. They want to be part of that change, and in order to be part of that, we have to meet those basic needs so that they don't have to worry about um, where their next meal is going to come from while they're thinking about bigger dreams. The next meal could be a community dinner, including vegetables grown in the garden, a spot that used to be a vacant lot. It's part of the revitalization of neighborhood, and the neighborhood is part of what's happening here. Community Matters is taking a look at not just meeting that, that basic need and that Band-Aid fix and um, providing the thing to sort of fix that symptom. Why are our kids hungry? Why are our kids not have stable housing? You know, why are our kids failing in school because there's not a stable home life? It comes back to, um, for a lot of the parents, the inability to find a job that is reliable, pays well, and that can work within the family life. That's what the employment hub is all about, right next to the thrift store, down the street from 17 new buildings that will become affordable housing. It's about looking at this neighborhood with all its hardships and finding its gifts that make it vibrant again. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. And what's going on in Lower Price Hill is privately funded. That includes connecting clients with jobs where they can work toward promotions and raises.